PlayStation 2 might be old by now, but it's still got some quality games left in it, judging by Rogue Galaxy. This is like Star Wars meets anime from the makers of such excellent PS2 role-playing games as Dragon Quest VIII and Dark Cloud II. Unlike those games, though, Rogue Galaxy isn't a sequel to anything, and its imaginative sci-fi universe turns out to be one of the main attractions. The hero of this story is Jasper Rogue, basically a less whiny Luke Skywalker. He's a simple hunter on his dusty little home planet, but one day a case of mistaken identity lands him on the crew of a space pirate ship. There he'll meet some unlikely companions, ranging from a down-on-his-luck dog-headed warrior to a self-assured, no-nonsense tribeswoman. Initially, the story is almost comical, as Jasper's misadventures take him and the ship's crew from one ridiculous quest to another. Hey, hey, it's you again! So you're gonna be in the Insectron tournament, huh? Eventually, you'll start to wonder what the point of it all is, and thankfully, the main plot begins to unravel at about that time. Rogue Galaxy is basically easy to play, but takes a while to kick into full gear, taking the first few hours to ease you into the experience. If you're used to methodical turn-based battles in your Japanese role-playing games, you won't find them here. Rogue Galaxy's combat initially looks more like something out of Devil May Cry, with its combination of fast-paced slashing and shooting. However, the RPG roots do show themselves pretty quickly, since you'll frequently have to go into your item menu to bring your comrades back to health. Plus, you'll have to deal with enemies that can only be affected by certain types of attacks and who love inflicting various status ailments on you. You typically have three characters running around in your party, though you'll only control one directly, and it's probably going to be Jasper for the most part. All the different characters play a little differently, though, and each one gets to learn his or her own various special abilities. And even though the combat can be monotonous sometimes as you're working your way through one of the game's many maze-like environments, there's good incentive to keep plugging along, getting stronger, and getting further into the story. For one thing, as your characters level up, so do their weapons. This game just has a ton of different items and equipment in it. As your weapons improve, you even get to fuse them together into stronger ones, and you can visibly see the various weapons and costumes you have equipped on your characters during cutscenes. Crafting new stuff isn't the only pastime in Rogue Galaxy. You can also enter these bug fighting tournaments, create a variety of useful products in this surprisingly complicated assembly line minigame, explore some optional dungeons and other side quests, and more. This is a big game that could last you dozens of hours even if you mostly just focused on the main quest. Granted, even though the places you'll go and the people you'll meet will tend to look a lot different from one to the next, the gameplay settles into a groove that can grow to feel more like a routine after a while. It's a good thing, then, that you've got all the optional stuff to go to when you want. Also, in spite of how many powerful healing items you'll usually be carrying around, Rogue Galaxy can be pretty tough, since enemy bosses can easily wipe out your party members with a couple of quick hits. Thankfully, save points appear frequently, and you can even use them to teleport back to previous areas you've visited so you can stock up on more healing items and stuff like that. If you're going to be spending a lot of time in front of a game like Rogue Galaxy, it might as well look good, and as you can see, it sure does. At times, it looks more like an animated movie than like your average game, even though most of the cutscenes are rendered using the game's 3D engine. High-quality music and voice acting round out the package, making Rogue Galaxy fun just to look at and listen to, even when the fighting and exploration starts to drag a bit. Looking back, the PlayStation 2 has had a pretty fantastic several years' worth of role-playing games. So if anything, the main reason Rogue Galaxy doesn't seem even better is just because of how many other great similar games have come before it. At the same time, though, this game is very well done overall, and another good reason not to put that old PS2 of yours out to pasture just yet.